resale industry has been uh, disrupted by two things. It's first of all convenience, which comes in the form of delivery platforms. And the second thing is the information the consumer can now get. When the customer can get anything delivered to their doorstep, getting them down to that store is a, is a different challenge. You need to create experience, ambience, and a different feel than you can get at home. Jonah Juice is turning 20 years this year. The first 10 years was really about communicating our voice. The following 10 years was rolling out what has been defined in the first 10 years. That's one of the things that really attracted me to Jonah Juice was that from the very start, the founder had an ambition. He wanted to become global. And from day one, it has been in the mindset that what we are building is not just for the next store, it's for the next 100 stores. The scalable mindset is visible in anything we do, and we always think big. When we build our stores, everything comes in one container. The furniture, the equipment, and the bar. We can send it to Los Angeles, we can send it to South Korea, and we can build the stores in a matter of a few weeks. There are many great food and beverage companies out there, but few have been able to transcend cultures in the way that Jones Juice has been able to do. We operate in 16 countries, and we have a brand that's recognizable across those markets. I think ambience, product quality and convenience is important to any brand. But what I believe Jordan Juice is unique is because we combine these three things. So you have a super healthy product, you have it in a nice ambience with music, good time, and we deliver it super fast so you get the convenience. But Jordan Juice has always been important not to discriminate. We want a broad customer group. We want to bring in the kids, the families, the professionals and the young people. We operate our stores with no kitchens. Everything you see is made right in front of you. And that creates a much more ambient experience, reduces the food waste, it creates healthier, clean products. And more importantly also, it's much more fun for the employees to make a fresh product instead of just pressing a button or scanning a barcode. Prior to 2019, we had one issue that we were discussing around the table in management, and that was convenience. In order to allow that, we need the technology. So the app has been a game changer for Joe Juice because when you are a brand like ours that do everything made to order, it takes time. With the pre-order on the app, you are ordering while you walk to the shop, so you are cutting away the waiting time in line, but also the waiting time doing your products. So for our brand that are made to order, it has solved the convenient issue that we had before. With data, we build our own technology system. We have basically every data point in Joe Juice. This can be waiting time, it can be complaints, it can be running out of stock or whatever. So we are actively using it to be better at running Joe Juice from a day-to-day -day perspective. A key reason to Joe's success probably lies in the intersection of four key megatrends. Health, convenience, experience and sustainability. Plant-based diets are becoming more important because people want to eat better for you and better for the environment. We're trying to tap into that big wave. We continue to develop our menu in a way that it becomes more plant-based and better for the environment. We have reduced our food waste by making made-to-order products and really that's been a key part of driving the company forward. We offer a very attractive platform for, for young people with various backgrounds. Having people from different parts of the, the community where we live, different parts of the world, and us really working together with the passion for the project that we have in front of us in really ensuring that if you are a Jonah Juice, you can have a meaningful life and you can have a, a development. There is an opportunity that you can come in as a user and after a number of years you will be part of the senior management. And if you look at the, the upper management, 70% have all started as users. Jonah Juice has been on an amazing growth journey. From 2009 to 2019, we grew 40% every year. COVID hit, we had to slow our growth for a bit, but we are back in growth mode. We are opening up all over Europe and in the US. In the last couple of years, we've seen a huge demand from the Middle East. We have a recognizable brand, and they like our products, which are non-alcoholic and healthy. We don't only want to grow through new stores. We also want to optimize our existing locations. We want to add more products, and we want to be able to give people a different experience in the morning, over lunch, and in the afternoon. Right now, and even more in the future, 
a lot of customers are choosing purpose-driven brands. I think that trend will only continue. We will have to all innovate to be a part of that change and it will be for the better.